Without electricity, I won't be able to do anything. This one is still legible. Somebody really went all out. How on earth did that train car get here? Looks like these holes were made on purpose, but what for? This needle must be connected to the mechanism's spring. This counter seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not.
I wonder where this passage leads. The zone is more or less safe. For Andre, my proud soldier. Still fresh. Mushrooms? My Andre. A photo album. Tempting. No way.
first runner-up in the 1979 Now Dusk Oblast Beauty Contest. Not bad. Some Olympic medals. Here for the last act of our exclusive episode of Reactors of Passion, your favorite series, an exciting mix of love, grief. Huh? Who are you? And what on earth are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Excuse me. So you're the tramp that decided to use my cart? I had to go all the way up the track with the game I caught on my back because of you. Did I hear tramp? Who does she think she is? Hey, I'm talking to you. When a woman her size gets ticked off, someone my size is well advised to keep a low profile. Well? I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm accompanying this tribe, and we're trying to leave the park. I thought that that old cart was abandoned, and that I could use it. I never thought I'd do any harm. Hmm. Should have looked around a bit first, though. It ain't abandoned for everybody. <laughs> huh. Don't that beat all. There you are, you good boy. Mama'll have you up and running in no time. What's this key for? For activating the park automatons. You need to give them a good turn of the key every so often, or the poor things get all neurasthenic. Even cantankerous. Plus they break down. There. is exactly what I need to repair Oscar. I need it fast. Well? With someone like her, I might be better off earning her trust before I ask for the key. Hey! I'm talking to you! Listen, I didn't really want to get off on the wrong foot with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm accompanying the Yukul tribe on their migration to their sacred lands. And you're... Oh, an American. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet anything. Well, well, look at that. An American. <laughs> well, I'm Staff Sergeant Katerina Viktorovna Drostolova. Gold medalist in the shot put in the Moscow Olympics. And the widow of Lieutenant Andrei Grigorovich Drostolov. Veteran artillery officer and figure skating champion. Delighted to meet you, Katerina. It seems you might be just the person I'm looking for. Do you think you could let me borrow that strange key of yours? I needed to repair an automaton without whom, I'm afraid, it is impossible for us to leave. You've been really polite and you speak the same way they talk in those books, little lady. You do have a bit of backbone, I'll say that much for you. This key is extremely precious to me. As far as I know, your gang of gnomes and you might just be one of those gangs of bandits that hang around here. Scrap dealers looking in every nook and cranny for a pot of gold, despite the radiation around here. I saw those riffraff off with a load of buckshot. I should try to use the information I found in her photo album to get her on my side. Well? No time to beat around the bush. I need that activation key. Hey! I'm talking to you! Behind her tough-as-nails facade, this Katarina seems to be a real stickler for form. I may be able to use that. Well? So you're... THE Katarina Drozdolova? 
First runner-up in the Naudask Oblast Beauty Contest in 1979? <laughs> yes, indeed, that was me. And that was also when I met my Andre. To be perfectly honest, I thought that somebody from the West could only possibly know me for what I did in athletics instead. Now that I know who you are, I don't dare ask for your key. I would never want to inconvenience someone of your standing like that. Stop, stop. Classy women don't fuss over each other. <laughs> Tell me exactly why you need my key, and I'll see what I can do for you. I have to get a park automaton back in working condition so I can pull our boat higher up onto the beach so the ostrich herd in the hold can get out. The Yukels and their herd have to continue their sacred migration as soon as possible. What's more, the longer we're stuck here, the more likely it is that we'll be caught and arrested by the soldiers who are after us. Hmm. If I say yes, you promise you'll bring it back to me as soon as you've finished? Of course. I would never betray the trust of the great Katerina Drozdolova. Okay then, I agree. Take good care of it. For 20 years now, it's let me keep my bag of mechanical fleas running. 20 years? I thought all the survivors left after the catastrophe. But it was already too late for him, unfortunately. Your husband was contaminated? Both of us did, actually. But it didn't do anything to me. That's just the way I was made. Or maybe I was immune because of all the garbage they kept giving me for years so that I could win that trinket at the Olympics. And since then, you've never tried to get to Valsambor? No. I heard that all of the irradiated survivors were sent to this clinic there and they never get out. Besides, I have absolutely everything I need here. Somewhere to call home. I'm near my dear Andreusha. I have my dog and all the game I want. One last thing before I go. You said the air in the subway stayed pure. Does it lead out of the city? Yes. Just follow the tracks right behind my place and you can get out to the other side of Baranor through the Olympia Stadium station at the end of the line. That's the terminus. Not only do you avoid the radiation, but you also have electricity. It's one of the only circuits in the city that's still working. You just have to be careful. Some of the pipes gave way and flooded some galleries with lake water. Thank you, Katarina, for everything. The park must be behind there. What news, Kate Walker? Hmm... Looks like Miss Kate Walker have time for much fun. <laughs> Miss Kate Walker lost tongue? This ride is the only way I found to get to the park subway station. And what Miss Kate Walker find for you, Goals? I learned that the subway is safe. 
No radiation. I mean free of all bad spirits, if you prefer. But most important, when you exit from the last station, you can leave the city while still staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of martyrs. Good work, Kate Walker. I don't know what the Yukos would do without your help. First, we have to hoist the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Can the Yukos clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. Any news from the Yukos who are still locked up in the crystal? Everyone is fine, even if the ostriches are getting impatient. We have to get them out soon, Kate Walker. Once we've left Baranur, what is the next step? The River Balatom. Once we cross the sacred bridge over it, we'll be past the border and in Yakistan. Our pursuers won't be able to harm us there. Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. We'll talk about all that later. I'm going, Kirk. I have to find an old friend. Kate Walker? Hello, Kate Walker. So is everything set? Are we ready to go now? You have refitted the train spring, haven't you? And what about Mr. Hans Vorlberg? Is he on board? There's no more train, Oscar. And there's no more Hans Vorlberg. I beg your pardon? You were supposed to be dead, too. I installed your heart in another model just like you. And it seems to have worked. It's good to see you again, Oscar. Are you all right, Oscar? I... I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. I guess not. But you know, Oscar, you were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. Oscar. I need your help. Of course, Kate Walker. That is my function. I'm accompanying the Yukels on their voyage. You know they found me when I was dying next to a river in the west of Siberia and took me in. They are accompanying the migration of the snow ostriches to their sacred lands, where they go and reproduce. Now we're being chased by fanatical soldiers who want to send the Yukels back to where they came from. To top it off, they want to hand me over to the American authorities. I've been accused of all sorts of crimes. The Yukols, a primitive nomadic people in the far north that live symbiotically with large herds of Struthio nivis, commonly known as snow ostriches. 
That about sums it up. Kate Walker, American deviant. Intellectually and politically unstable. Influenced by both circumstance and encounters, despite possessing an unquestionable moral fiber. Uh, I suppose that's about right, in a word. Well, how may I be of service to you, Kate Walker? We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible to escape the people chasing us. But the Yukels and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust me. Well, I shall indeed do what I can to help, Kate Walker. But, but, Kate Walker, my clothes. I don't have any clothes. Kate Walker? Come on, what's the problem, Oscar? In New York, I saw fashion shows where you would have made a splash. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without covering. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Voral Burr productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to it. Oscar, please! Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. All right, all right. I'll get you some clothes. <laughs>